So this re so this is a fig tree here in the botanical garden in Vienna. And uh, it, as you mentioned, it needs usually pollination. Uh, it needs pollination because all the figs are falling down. We see it, uh, there are uh, brevas, and it uh, already built uh, the main crop. But uh, all this uh, good figs, supposed to be good figs, mm -hmm. uh, will not uh, return. And you said this tree, has, how long has it been here, this tree? Well, a person who works here in the botanic garden uh, told me that uh, when he started here working 30 years before, the tree had uh, nearly the same size. So we see here some very thick uh, st stems, stems. Yes. Yeah. And uh, it reminds very much of the. So you're saying this is a, probably a sycamore? Yeah, look at it. Well, could this not be some type, uh, some kind of a variety from a, look. from a, I would say from Australia or some other place? Because when I was in Australia, I've seen trees of that type. Ah, really? Yeah, because there's many ficus trees, uh, and they have the these oh. kind of figs. Mm -hmm. But this is a thickest tree here, and we're it's again at the botanical garden here in Vienna. From Yemen. This is from Yemen? Yemen. Oh, well, that's true. It's written yeah. uh, wrong, in my opinion, but it's Yemen. Well, it's, it could be in tropical Africa, in South Africa, or in Yemen. These trees are from there. Hmm. And probably the figs are not eatable on this one. Uh, because sorry, I didn't know that that uh, it's so common and and that there are many varieties of this type. I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought because I know when I, as I mentioned when I was in Australia there I saw ficus trees which had some types like this, mm -hmm. but they were obviously bigger. Do they eat them? I don't think they're eatable. No, the birds and other animals they will eat it. But they really look like figs inside too. It's funny. So this tree seems to be more damaged. You're mentioning yes. that it's uh, because of the winter. Yes, if you see the some. Uh, yes. And this is a is it an old variety or? No, it's not an old variety. All the fig trees, uh, fig trees here in the botanical garden of Vienna are named Ficus carica. Okay, so pretty much unknown. But how about the taste? Did you ever taste this one? Mm -hmm, or? Mm -hmm. Whew, they're fine. I like them. A lot of figs. Um, on the left side, you can see some brebas. Yeah, you can see some. I don't know if you, it's going to be seen on the camera. And the main crop is, I like it. Big fig, big fig, dark. <laughs> it's being protected every winter. They uh, take a. Um, you mean they cut it back? No. You have a garden. At the side of the garden you have a... Uh, wood? Metal. Of metal. Uh, sheets of metal? No, one piece. Uh... Styrofoam? Small metals. Dun, dun, dun. And uh, barbed wire, like, and they put leaves inside? Yes. Uh, it's one meter high, around. And then they put all the leaves of it inside mm -hmm. and push them and uh, you see it grows wonderful. But even the top seems to be fine because they... It's too high for, for, for taking fruit. Uh, but but it, it has a lot of fruit and very good fruit. And what is the color of the figs here on this tree? Uh, black. I posted them on the, on the, on the forum. Black figs... Um, and white interior, uh, very uh, resistant to cold weather and uh, yes, and rain. Don't split and uh, doesn't sour. Well, uh, not the taste of a of a East or Black Madeira, but uh, it's a real uh, winter hardy fig, uh, which. Uh, is adapted on 
uh, for the conditions here. Hmm. Yeah, you can smell the sap here. So this tree tree has actually been growing here in Vienna on the outside, uh, unprotected. Yes. And it's how many years you see? Five. Five years. If you look at the stem, it's like this. It's like this. Hmm. Yes. Especially last, because this winter has been very hard. Very hard. And it's still surviving. Between uh, uh, s um, 50 and 20, uh, 15 and 20 degrees hmm. minus. Here's another tree, and this one, wh wh what's the story of this one? The story is that there is a story. I asked the, the, the woman uh, who lives in the house where it's from. She doesn't know it's from the last... Uh, um, and um, I'm sure that it's a known variety uh, because uh, the fruit is very good. Breba is very good. It has a distinct flavor and uh, smells like perfume. It's, it's, it's crazy. Uh, and uh, the main crop fig is good too and looks totally different. It's flat uh, in the difference to the, uh, to the uh, Breba, which is, which is a, long, a long fig. The leaves are, have this detail here. Um, and uh, some of these, uh, it's interesting. The main crop fig is flat, green, and has light interior, yellow interior. So as you said, you call it Pique de Parfum. Pique de Parfum, uh, it's funny because it's, of, it's protected from the wind here, a little bit. Now it's a little windy, but uh, it has nearly no sun. If you see, look, we cannot talk about uh, eight hours sun a day, maybe one or two, but uh, the fix are excellent. Mm. So even in the shade it's actually yes, performing it's well. it's cold, cold hardy. And just to remind, what are, what are the lowest temperatures usually in winter in Here? Vienna? Well, this tree um, should have survived temperatures up to, uh, so one to uh, 70. Uh, 20. Minus 20? Minus 20. Minus 20. Mm. Yes. Well, we see here a problem. We have something in winter. Yes. But uh, there's nothing. There's nothing. Yes. So what do we have here? Tree grown, grown by seed, spread by the wind, obviously from a from a Turkish guy who who yes who ate a, a thick a, a dried thick uh, hopefully a Smyrna type and a spit and uh, the wind brought the seed here and we are waiting uh, so if, it, if it's a Smyrna type thick or a common variety. But you said you've you've been here a few times. Okay. Yes, last this year is uh, two. Uh, of co um, in any case, uh, two years old, and the owner of this house, of this wonderful house, uh, is uh, cutting it down because maybe he thinks it's uh, uh, I don't know something else. So probably every year he's going to keep on pulling it out, but every year he's going to keep on coming back. Yes. Hopefully, I, I, I think uh, I can take a cutting. Uh, I'm thinking about the name. Maybe I call it um, a doggy uh, or, or 